skin, rough looking skin, wrinkled skin, guess what? I have the solution for that today, an all natural solution in the form of a facial bar, an exfoliating facial bar. This facial bar is going to do wonders on your skin. It's going to clear the skin. It's going to clean out those pores. And while doing all of that, it's going to help to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines. And guess what? Here comes the bonus. It's going to lighten and brighten that skin. And what you're going to get is just fresh, radiant, glowing, and younger looking skin. So if you're interested in my own personal natural homemade facial scrubbing bar this video is for you so continue watching now take a look at our first and main ingredient and, uh, and this is the chia seeds now chia seeds are excellent source of plant-based protein antioxidant essential minerals and fibers it also contains I fatty acid and it is also known for its hydrating properties. Chia seeds is very moisturizing, particularly for people with eczema and other very dry skin conditions. It also contains anti-aging properties that will help to moisturize the skin and when the skin is moisturized, it is less likely to develop wrinkles and fine lines. Our next ingredient is lemon and I'm going to use both the lemon juice and the lemon peel. This is dried lemon zest and lemon zest contained lemon oil which is loaded with vitamin C and citric acid so they can help brighten and lighten your skin when used over time. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant for neutralizing free radicals and also for boosting your collagen production. Our final ingredient is coconut oil and coconut oil is very hydrating. Coconut oil help to keep the skin moisturized and it also help to heal wound. The medium chain fatty acid found in coconut oil also possesses antimicrobial properties that can help to treat acne and protect the skin from harmful bacteria. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be blending the chia seed. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of the chia seeds. And I'm going to blend this dry. Do not add any water to this. Just blend. If you do not have chia seed for this recipe, use some flax seeds. So now that our chia seeds is blended, the next step is to add our lemon zest. Now guys, to make this lemon zest, you just peel your lemon, put the lemon peel in a brown paper bag, leave it for a couple of weeks, probably two or three weeks, and then your lemon zest is ready. And to get the lemon zest like this, just blend to a powder. Once you blend it to a powder, you can keep this in your refrigerator for about six months or so, okay? So, I'm using one teaspoon of our lemon zest, dried lemon zest that is. And now I'm going to blend the two together. Just blend your lemon zest with your chia seeds. And now here you have your dry mix. This dry mix can also be placed in the refrigerator. Now, because of the oils from the chia seeds, I don't recommend to blend the chia seed and put it away for long. So just blend just before you use or blend and keep for a week or so, okay? Now moving on to the lemon, and I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of lemon juice to this mix. So I'm just gonna cut my lemon in two halves fresh lemon. Next I'm going to squeeze about a, a tablespoon of lemon juice. 
and that's about good next I'm reaching for the coconut oil and to begin I'm using one teaspoon of the coconut oil and I'm just gonna blend this together now take your time you do not want it to be too greasy so it's gonna appear a little dry to begin with not to worry just keep mixing and mine is way too dry so next I'm gonna add another teaspoon of coconut oil and now this should be good so just blend it in this is exactly how you want your scrub to be and now take a look at this once you start mixing the chia seed with the oil and the lemon it's gonna start to look something like this okay next you're gonna just take it out and you're gonna knead it with your hands like this because what we are doing we are making an exfoliating bar okay so rub the chia seed and then you shape it into whatever shape you want to shape it into just make sure that it is big enough for you to use to exfoliate your skin and this is mine chia seed exfoliating bar and I'm just gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna show you how to use this on your face for best result now here I have the facial scrub and before you use this facial scrub I would suggest that you wash your face with your facial cleanser before once this is done you're not gonna pat dry but you're gonna leave your face wet and then you're gonna reach for the facial scrub so just exfoliate your face not too hard just slowly in circular motion exfoliate it feels good on the skin guys it's also great for the lips Now once you're done exfoliating, what I like to do, I like to go back with my hands, just my hands, and I like to massage my face a bit off. And when I'm using my hands like this, what happened, our exfoliator leave a lot of fine granules on the face. So what I'm simply doing is just using those fine granules to further exfoliate the face and massage the face plumping up my skin now I'm gonna rinse this off with some warm water and I will be back with the result now as far as the soap is concerned you can choose to rinse the top off set it again and put it away to use another day use it up within three days if you're gonna use it on your skin like that however what is best for you to do is to cut it in small pieces so you just cut a piece of it like this and use this to exfoliate your face in that way you could put this away so you do not contaminate the entire thing and then this part you could store for about seven days in your refrigerator what so, can i say you need to give this bar a try it is really an amazing bar so go ahead give it a try share the video let other people try it and then come back and comment it is an exfoliating bar so you have nothing to lose you have everything to gain a bright a beautiful younger glowing skin thank you all for watching if you like the video don't forget just give it a thumbs up just let me know that you're enjoying the video and leave your comments those are always always welcome and guess what if this was the first time watching I'm sure you want to see more of these videos so look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and I'll see you in my next video with another wonderful wonderful facial just for you Bye -bye.